Okay, so next what we're going to do is create our leaf. And again, I will go to use this segment for this. Okay. Let's switch this to something. So right here leaf. Okay, we'll go to connect this to new child. The one thing I like to change name before I connecting because on this case when I connect you'll notice it will assign name you can um, after connect you can go ahead and change name after you connecting in your stem right here by just kind of rename child but um, it just save you some step before you do this okay so let's go to our segment and we'll go inside the leaf and right here as a leaf actually I want to add a lot of leaves so remember it will be very big and long so I want 22 and maybe add 5 plus minus so we can have tons of those leaves same as before I actually want to bring a little bit from the ground now maybe around right here and on top same you know just let's just slightly so we don't have some on the top yet anything right there okay we have it our density we leave it alone randomness everything is um, as is and orientation right here will be kind of a little bit tricky we need to work with this orientation um, as well with angle and everything so we'll come back to those in a second um, actually you know what let's set coil right now I'm just setting 90 10 okay and um, the reason is why so we can preview how leaves will behave okay let's go inside the leaf at this point and inside the leaf we're going to add some properties first I want to reduce maybe to six and right here let's do plus minus two okay and because this is actually will be stem of our leaf I want to take this down quite a bit so just overall kind of connections um, you know what maybe a little bit higher just so we can blend better and we'll go inside right here and we'll just modify also around here something like so we don't I don't worry to lose this one because the leaves will go over this area and will for the leaves we're actually going to use the blades um, before I'm going to in same kind of like we did before so it's a little bit blending with parent kind of set okay and we'll go enable blades so you notice they will go to different areas so let's go work on this um, okay the link will leave it one the start obviously I don't want I want to start somewhere right in this area so we'll go just start moving and probably maybe much around I'm just looking right this area I think around here will be very nice area to start okay we'll go and it will be all the way one 360 the width um, here's what we're going to play a little bit more so let's go open and here's how we kind of define a little bit shape of the plant so you can see how it's applied and I'm also going to switch to smooth and when we do this we need to change a few things okay so we'll go right here just create kind of smoother curve overall so we have this blend um,
be kind of make around just overall look on the shape and one thing what I do when I create kind of shape or leaves um, I'm going to um, online and you can type the bean plan so you can see the leaves of the bean plant if you need to kind of reuse them okay that is okay um, we leave it symmetrical the next thing you can always use it after size if you need after size um, how width and of course if you after size for example in this case I want to be a little bit wider okay let me disable the problem with after size if you don't use it you can see this they become smaller some random but too wide so you kind of want maybe enable to keep this properly proportions for the size of the leaves so it's a reason why I'm using for this um, section again that will be right here if you look how flat right now so we'll go work on this section and we have it currently one and plus one so we can bend this leaf a little bit down on the edges right here you can see kind of we start bending one edge then we can bend other ones so we'll go bring it closer make it smooth okay let's make it smooth on both ends We can look on the leaf so it's kind of right shape I want a little bit flatten and we'll do this in a second but overall maybe a little bit too much so let's bring a little bit closer okay now just give it some dimension to the leaves okay um next we'll will effect just let's flatten out so effect not will be this strong okay and right this ends i don't like when it's happened on the end so i'm going to fix this by using height limitation right here so i'm going to did you see this here not a zero right on the end not on this so this is fixed right here and on the end we'll just take right here bring to the zero and you can notice right we fix this end as well so we have it nice on the middle but we'll fix it connections here and connections to the end okay let's click OK now so overall this is about what we want to do with the blend now um, we can go inside if you remember inside this segment we can go to influence on a leaf and you know what let's work slightly in that area okay right here we'll go work with uh, some orientations so you notice how leaf sometimes kind of going sideways okay or for example even right here on top so we want to bring them down we can do this of course by adding tropism so we'll drop down leaves and also we can work on rotation so let's look in here we take rotation and bring a little bit down okay just overall nope, it's a little bit too much so let's go back to zero Okay, the rotation look okay here. The angle, um, okay, let's just set a little bit higher angle. The reason is um, because we're going inside the leaf, and if we add trapezium, it start dropping, and this is what will create kind of nice, interesting effect so let's go to 
here maybe set you know 15 let's preview yeah it's so great nice um right here we have it sometimes effect you can notice side ones so let's um work with combinations between our angle right here what we have it so we can do maybe even 15 okay it will fix some of the straight end work with a trapezium inside the leaf because 15 may be too much so let's go five okay, yeah that will add just a little bit better okay and of course we'll add randomness one and one thing if you kind of write this area if you don't want to add trapezium on that area we can modify or example if some remove angle so we can take our plant reduce on the end so you can see end of the leaves doesn't going too high but right this area it's where we can affect it most Let the preview I think this is actually look good and let's just try see and no one this one more effect right this area okay and this we can pop up a little bit higher but I don't want them look too sad and bottom you can see we start touching ground so let's go to um, our parent instance so in a parent we'll just kind of move right here create another point just about right here so we'll just slightly moving okay. on the bottom so they will if don't try to touch ground maybe as much there you go, so it does not affect that much on bottom. Okay, right here we're kind of fixing. Okay, and next things I don't like, see how the same size on top, then it's supposed to be smaller. So we'll go work with the um, sizing as well. Right here we have it, right, radio show, and right here we have it size as well. So let's go in a segment. And right here where we have a link, I want to actually reduce, create kind of the higher we go, the smaller leaves it is. Okay, we always can add kind of bigger on the end and become smaller right here. So yeah, this way we have a nice leaves going okay let's preview right here our leaves and this with uh, obviously with tentacles together so here so far we have our plant and um, let's go save it at next I may increase size of leaves we'll see but next what we're going to do is create the small flower parts kind of not yet coming parts and maybe add a few flowers so this um, will go work in the next tutorial.